Hi there, this is Anmesh from Pixim Perfect, and today I'm going to share with you a tip that you cannot afford to not know. No matter what you do in Photoshop, whether you're doing retouching, designing, or compositing, it's very essential to know this. And it's all about snapshots. It sounds simple, but it's very important and useful. So we're going to talk about all that and how to apply that in our workflow. So without any further ado, let's get started. So here we are in Photoshop and first of all we will talk about designing. It can be as simple as designing a social media post. In this case I was designing the thumbnail for the one minute series that I did recently. So as you can look at the thumbnail, this is okay. I just wanted to change the color of one. But before I do that, I don't want to lose this state because this looks amazing as well. So here's what to do. Go to the history panel. So windows and then history. You can also click in here. If you cannot see it right there, go to Windows and History and that will open up. Just click on the camera button and that is the tip. You can stop watching video right now, but I highly insist that you do because that way you will see how to apply it. So click on that. It creates a snapshot. You can name it if you want. Just double click on the text. You can name that, for example, starter or maybe let's name it simple. Okay, hit enter. Now, for example, I wanted to change the color of one. So double click on there and you know the regular things. I'll just change it to CD201F. That's my favorite shade. And I kind of like it. And I'll just make both of them a little bigger like that. And probably change the position of the Photoshop logo, make it a little smaller. And I like this state as well. But I want to test it with the previous one. So let's save this state. Click on the camera again and this creates snapshot one, which is the second one. And you can name this red one. And then, for example, I want to even make more changes. This one is kind of not looking good. It needs a darker background. So let's go ahead and create a background probably by using a rectangle. So I'll just choose the rectangle tool and create a rectangle right over here, just like that and paint that in black. So it fills that in black and I'm going to go ahead and create a mask and with the gradient I'll just make something like this. Now I think the text is very big so we're going to go ahead and make the text a little smaller like that and get it to the left and decrease the opacity of the rectangle. Now this is not what we are learning here. We are learning the snapshots. Let's decrease the opacity and I like this as well. So I'm going to go ahead and create that and uh, this creates name it snapshot number one and let's name that probably black bg background now which one do i like the most now you have an advantage what is the advantage that you have if you want to test different versions you don't have to create multiple layers turn those off and on all you have to do just create these snapshots also you don't have to go back into history states again and again control alt z command option z again and again going back and seeing which one was looking good just make these snapshots and test all of them simple this is how it looked red that's how that looked black that's how this looked. Now you can easily choose which one you like. And that's a very big advantage when it comes to designing. And we often get confused. So this one, this one, or this one. I finally went with this one. Or maybe you want to make some adjustments and then create one more snapshots and test all of them. It's totally upon you. It's a personal preference which one you choose. But it makes it very easy for you to make the decision. Now let's talk about our second example. And in this example, we're going to be talking about compositing. So have a look at this. I already have a cutout of her. And first off, we're not going to create snapshot right now because there's nothing in the background. So let's go ahead and add a solid color adjustment layer. For example, let's choose this color, bright color and put it behind her. It looks perfectly fine. It looks really great. Let's break the history panel and bring it over here. Okay, let's create a snapshot. So I'm going to go ahead and create this and just leave it at snapshot one. Now, for example, you wanted a darker background. So just deleted it and created a say gradient and then you moved from not black gray darker gray to white that's fine hit okay and style I'm gonna go ahead and choose radial and I'll just reverse it increase the scale 
yeah i like it hit okay and bring it behind her that's another one we can create one more snapshots and that way you don't have to create multiple layers and turn those off and on just one and you can directly move to the snapshot that you like if you want this one move it to that and start working if you want to move to this one move it to that now a very crucial example let me give you one so instead of these color backgrounds what if we want to bring in a texture so let's go to the desktop and just drag it and drop it over the image just like that and make it bigger now you will see you will see a problem let's make it bigger the hair doesn't look right it's just it needs to be a little darker so here's what we need to do delete this gradient fill we don't need that anymore create any adjustment layer and change the blend mode to multiply so click on the adjustment layer icon and let's choose levels and change that to multiply now multiply is a blend mode which darkens stuff screen brightens multiply darkens so let's go ahead and choose multiply but it darkens the whole image and we don't want that to happen we want to limit it just to the subject so how do we do that create a clipping mask to create a clipping mask click on this button it creates a clipping mask or let's go back another way of creating a clipping mask is by holding the alt or option clicking on the line between these two layers it also creates a clipping mask but it darkens all over her image and we don't want that to happen we just want to darken the outside of the hair so select the mask press ctrl or command i this inverts the mask and black conceals white reveals so take the brush and if you paint white around the edges that will make it visible so let's paint in white make sure the foreground color is white and just paint in like that and it's not painting why is it not painting because the blend mode is overlay make sure you choose normal and always make sure normal opacity 100 flow 100 depending upon the kind of effect that you're looking for. Okay, that looks wonderful. Now it matches. Okay, the outsides are dark. You wanna erase it from the insides. You wanna make it stay only on the outsides. Okay, you can also decrease the opacity if you want to. So it's too much, we'll just decrease the opacity to probably 88%, that's fine. Now this will not look good in a lighter background and that's why we had to do this especially especially just for this background so it looks perfect it looks nice let's go ahead and create one more snapshot and that is for this one so we can straight away go to any snapshot that we like snapshot number one snapshot number two snapshot number three for every background there are different requirements and that's why snapshot is useful that way if you want to test different backgrounds you don't have to create multiple layers levels curves to match the subject to that background just create snapshots and it's easy and that's what snapshot actually and literally means what does snapshot do in real life it creates a moment it takes a shot it takes a snap of a moment and it saves it and that's what snapshot in photoshop does it saves a moment with all those layers and effects so here we are in example number three and in this example we're going to be talking about retouching so snapshot can also be very useful in testing different effects for example in this one if you wanted to add a faded cool effect let's go ahead and do that by going to the curves adjustment layer making a curves adjustment layer click on the adjustment layer icon and choose curves and i'm going to choose the hand tool make it a little brighter make this a little darker like that and then take it a little up like i kind of like that and let's go to the blues and probably add some blues to the shadows and then go to the reds take away the reds from the shadows this is uh, one kind of effect that you might be looking for then create simply a snapshot by clicking on this button and then if you don't like it delete it here's what we do we create one more adjustment layer. let's create a black and white effect so curves adjustment layer and we're gonna make it very dark very dark like that I'm gonna bring it up like that and we're gonna make the brights very bright just like this and then we're going to create a black and white adjustment layer on top of that by clicking on the adjustment layer icon and choose black and white let's take the red to the left let's see how that looks no it doesn't look good let's try with the greens take it all the way to the right that looks wonderful magenta we'll take it up blue it looks good that way seance great yellow take it down and for example you like that let's go ahead and create one more curves adjustment layer and increase the saturation like that it looks wonderful to me wonderful okay let's take it down even more okay now create one more snapshot and you can name this black and white you can name that filter effect whatever you want but you get the ability to test both of them so here's that one here's this one so 
which one you like, it makes it very easy for you to make a decision. So that's all about snapshots in Photoshop. Now, what is a snapshot? Well, snapshot creates a moment. Every layer, every effect, and whatever you do, it just freezes the moment. And anytime you want to go back to that moment, just click on that little snapshot and you're time traveled. So that's all about it. I hope this video helped you. And if it did, make sure to give us a like and also don't forget to subscribe and not just subscribe. Ring the bell so that you, my friend, don't miss a thing. I'll see you guys in my next one. Till then, stay tuned and make sure that you keep creating.